it really hurt our image and it hurt this town and it made us look like a joke. Amber Enright says she first met Mark Flore two years ago when she moved her business to Newmarket and rented space in his ice cream shop. She and her husband are now the owners of Roots Cafe and say when Mark left the business to them, he also left his ice cream. Last March, they swapped the coffee Oreo container for one of Mark's. Enright later got a call from their 16-year-old employee saying she didn't feel well and she needed to go home. She was seen eating the ice cream during her shift. The next day, police called saying four other people who ate the ice cream were in the hospital. We were just kind of like, what the heck is going on? The FDA tested the contaminated ice cream and found traces of THC. It was really just shocking because, I mean, obviously it's illegal in New Hampshire to do anything like that. They say they immediately took the ice creams off the menu and Flores containers were brought to the dump, but it still impacted their business. It never would have crossed my mind that that was happening. And say it's still the first thing people see when they search for their cafe online, which is why they hope Flore is held accountable for his actions. Something's going to have to happen because he did, he did cause some damage. Flore was not held on those charges from this afternoon. His trial is scheduled for May 21st. We're live in Concord. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.